And welcome to Green Healing, where we discuss alternative and natural healing from abuse, trauma, and CPTSD. Today, I'd like to discuss counter-dependency. Counter-dependency, like codependency, is developed and caused by childhood trauma, such as abuse, neglect, an absent parent, an alcoholic parent, an emotionally absent parent, or counter-dependent parent, and such. Counter-dependency comes from a lack of trust in others, and counter-dependent people tend to push others away. They fear their emotions and also fear abandonment. Instead of becoming codependent, however, they push before they have the chance to get hurt. To identify if you are counter-dependent, one might show traits such as having trouble being close with others and need to be right most of the time. You might seem self-centered and self-interested, a resistance to ask for help, having trouble caring or showing caring towards others, emotionally distant or reserved, perfectionist with themselves and others, feeling extremely uncomfortable with appearing weak or vulnerable, tend to have trouble relaxing and are addicts to activity or are workaholics, tend to avoid deep emotional connection, more comfortable with superficial relationships, also comfortable with superficial sexual relationships. They tend to push people away, also fear rejection, tend to feel trapped when in a relationship typically attracted to overgiving and codependent people. And they tend to have an anxiety regarding deep relationships, whether these relationships are friendships or romantic or even family relationships. The way to heal counterdependency is similar to healing codependency. One must acknowledge and identify the trauma and wounds that caused them to become this way. Acknowledge the fears of abandonment and work on asserting your needs and fears better to define boundaries. Having strong boundaries will remove the aspect of being trapped or feeling a relationship will become too deep without the other respecting your space. Healing will help a counter-dependent person develop healthy attachments as much as it helps a codependent. Developing emotional literacy will help acknowledge and express emotions in a healthy way instead of pushing people away and retreating. In time, it should help form healthy attachments and healthier relationships. I hope this episode has been beneficial to you. If you'd like to support Green Healing, there's the Elements Healing Music with Singing Bowl, merchandise in the merch store, and the PayPal tip jar. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you're listening to it in its podcast form, thank you for listening. And as always, empower yourself and be emotionally free.